sometimes it's distracting and it can throw me off like of the entire song. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Simply Celestia and I'm on my break and it is super slow. So I'm actually doing my multi-chat from work today. And honestly, there's been so many things that I've been paying attention to off and on, but I'm still like not fully in the loop again. Um, I think I just want to start with talking about Girls on Top because I really, really have been enjoying it so much. I finally went through and like looked at all of their like practice videos that they've put up and they've been releasing some promotional stuff. I'm hoping that as the group as is, we'll continue to have more songs come out. I just really, it, I had to adjust to the song. I did not jump into it right away, but the more I play it, the more I love it. Um, you know, I just love the concept of having each generation like together and doing this collaborative project. I think it is really cool. I think it is super fun. It's been interesting to see. It's it's fairly like it's all modern and everything, and it's not like each of them in their groups haven't been modern. It's that um, seeing some of like the older groups or like even Boa etc. like doing this super new sound that already kind of fit with what like Aspa's already doing so they blend in so well like it just came together so nicely um the only thing like the only problem I have with Girls on Top debut was the lyrics <laughs> I just didn't think it matched the inner like the song choice is the song choice is good the lyrics are not that great in my opinion because I felt like this was a heavy like girl power group and it's just weird that this like girl power group has their debut song of lyrics being like essentially fighting another girl over a man. It's just weird. I don't it didn't seem like the way to go, but I also know that feminism seems to be a bad word over there. Um, I feel like I would have understood the entire concept more if they were telling people to step back, like, get off of, like, worrying about me, worry about yourself, that kind of thing. Like, it just, it didn't even have to be towards, like, a man, like, get out of my face. It, I would have felt way more on brand if they were telling everybody to get out of their face and, like, to step back in that way. So, that's honestly how I listen to it, and that's how I go for it, so that is what I roll with, but I know for a fact that that is not what the lyrics say, so it was just a little disappointing for that. Um, but overall, I just still enjoy it. It's been fun, you know, it is what it is. People still have those kinds of issues and they go back and forth about stuff like that all the time, so it's not like it ain't happening in life, so whatever, do what you gotta do. <laughs> I thought it was good, I thought their outfits were cool. Boa just does not age. She looks different all the time. Every time I see her, she looks different. So it's just been really fun. Like, it's just been really cute seeing what they would do. Um, and I really hope that they get more and more. I'd like to see them have like a little mini album situation. I really like this lineup and I'm curious to see how they talked about how it could like rotate. What would, you know, other versions of this group be? Um, because it's limitless and I'm a little bit more excited about the girl group version of you know this entire project I think than I even was about Super M which I think Super M is really good and I thought that they came out with some amazing stuff but it had another it was another one on both sides there were things that I was like super excited about and interesting about and then there was like things that just didn't necessarily deliver and dropping didn't necessarily deliver for me right away. I also have to get used to that one. So it's stuff like that that changes. So I've been watching a lot of dramas right now. So I'm actually um, watching Our Beloved Summer right now and I am obsessed. I think their chemistry is amazing. I love the cast. I love the storyline. I think it's really, really good. It's also just like that rivals slash enemies to lovers and that's my favorite romance trope. So of course I'm enjoying that. I had watched A Silent Sea and I also really enjoyed that. There were things that could improve on that, but overall I thought it was really good. Really good. I had, for some reason, the concept of like a Korean space drama 
was never even in my head to begin with so being able to see that was really cool and I'm really excited about stuff like that so I want to see more of it like it was just really good the cast was stellar um those are like the two big things that are on my mind these days as far as dramas that I'm watching I've also been watching just a lot of like general like Korean television so like I'm still obsessed with Funster I'm watching that a lot um, and I picked up some of the new season of Mr. House Husband, so I've been watching some of that. Um, it's just like nice little like daytime TV, Funstorant being absolutely my favorite. Um, I just think it's a nice way to kind of pick up on more culture and you know just like seeing like variety shows and stuff, um, whether it is like YouTube based or just like KBS specific. It's just been a nice like expansion of seeing different ways people live and different things that they have on their mind um, and what like certain expectations society has just in general but also the influence of having more and more international audiences coming into um, paying attention to your media how that also changes what's being done or like how that makes up a comment section and stuff and seeing what other people are commentating about is really interesting to me. Um, other than that, I've been like re-listening to a lot of EXO right now. I don't know, I just missed EXO and I wanted to go back and, you know, relive some albums and moments and stuff alongside re-watching a ton of shiny content and things like that, so I've been doing a lot of that. Um, other things that I have like kind of come and gone on my radar is I saw that Jay Park retired, I saw that Hyolin was making waves because of her like recent performances on um, um, it was like, it's, is it a performance show? I can't remember what the show is called but she was on a show um, once again her like live vocals have always been stellar I like to see her around I think she's been doing some true girl boss shit and I'm really excited to see all of that so that has been really nice. Um, I have been paying attention. Um, I'm like subscribed to her channel so I know like she's been doing stuff because I've seen some of her like video uploads and things and she's got some comebacks and things going on so I'm excited for her. Um, there's a lot of different comebacks that I have uh, been paying attention to and there's just like a lot of I'm any new group I'm so out of the loop. I have not been paying attention um, for a while so and I'm, I'm also kind of at my like stopping point right now where it's like I will probably listen to the music but the likelihood that I will actually invest time in getting to know the members of a group I'm just not right I'm just not there right now <laughs> like that's just not what I want to do um so I haven't like even in Hypen and like groups like that where like I know that I like some of their songs I just have not dedicated the time to like learning names or watching additional content really at all <laughs> like not even for like the groups that I love I have not watched um that many like that much BTS content or NCT content that much I'm super out of the loop um I just don't have the time really that I used to and I've had to focus on other things so I've just been super out of it so if there is anything that when I do get back into the loop that I should be paying attention to when I get there drop it in the comments down below I want to know what it is that I've missed that is like a must watch um I know BTS's case they also have like a webtoon out and things like that I've seen all the promo for that um I just haven't started it yet so I there's so much like to like get used to and catch up on again and there's just so many new like great groups coming out of course and um groups that did come out last year that I just didn't hop on like the train of and you know follow so uh, there's just so much content <laughs> to keep track of um from who I did see, um, one, I did pay attention to Eric Nam's release. I've like watched his interviews and stuff recently. Um, his entire album that he put out is amazing and I love it. And you guys should definitely check it out if you have not. He did what needed to be done for that. <laughs> um, I paid attention to Woozy's uh, track that came out. I don't know that it's completely to my taste, but I do think it is some, it's got like a vibe that would grow on me 
because I do like that rock twist that he had in there. There's just something about this new wave of music. He's kind of like in between, but like specifically with like newer artists like Aspa um, and so on that and it, it's this isn't even like an accurate description or even like accurate timeline because this type of vibe has been happening for a while and I'm just not fully acclimated to like the 100% of it yet and that's like when they have a song and there's like this almost it I, I feel like the backing instrumentals and things are almost too intrusive on like the vocal track I don't know how to 100% explain it this is a style that has been happening for a long time that they've been kind of easing us into or you know experimenting with across many groups um, and many genres but it's something that I just it's been bothering me recently and I just it's not that I think that it's bad I just feel like I'm not acclimated to it at all and you have that in girls on top song you have that in sticker from NCT you have that um, in CL's song that she put out um, and you have that in Lucy's song you have that in I feel like only one of latest song is kind of like that um, you know there's just like something it just feels loud I don't know how to explain it because at the end of the day I'm not trying to say it's a bad movement or like a bad experimentation it's just not to my taste yet or I'm not fully acclimated to what all that has to offer like songs and music overall right now so I think I'm just old maybe <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I'd love to know what anyone else thinks about stuff like that um, but it's just sometimes it's distracting and it can throw me off like of the entire song um, even if it's like a group that I love like you're not to get like you don't have to love every single song that somebody puts out but it'll be like I like all the other elements of this song except that part I cannot get past so you know that's been something that I've been noticing it has affected me more and more and I'm curious if that's the case for anybody else um, but other than that, I think even Changmin's new song, Devil, kind of has elements of that, but it feels a lot more subdued and is something that I could latch onto right away because it had, it was in a way that it made me want to sing along with it, like with the rain on me, rain down on me parts. I don't know. I don't know. There's somebody could have a way more like a nuanced conversation about this that I don't think I can have because I do not know enough about the process of making music and you know what exactly to call what it is that I'm talking about. Um, I feel like I've explained it enough that you guys know what I'm talking about but I don't know how to explain it overall um, despite having taken classes like this before I don't remember any of that. I was not good at making music when I went to college. Um, it's not something I don't think that I don't, it's not something that my brain does or a skill that I had ever chosen to refine. So I don't know um, how to explain it. Um, on the flip side, I think that's why I've loved like things like Eric Nam's album so much because it was so heartfelt and it was so. Um, which I shouldn't, I'm just trying to describe his album as heartfelt. I feel like that was a bad jump because it makes it sound like because I find some of those other songs annoying that they aren't heartfelt. I feel like the work behind all those other songs is solid. It's just that it wasn't for me. Why I feel Eric Nam's album is heartfelt is because just the lyricism and everything that he put into it, I feel that I could pick up on it right away. So that just has to do with the style of his album. Um, and I feel like it, maybe it's just the style and genre of like this like R&B and soulful and you know just general singing kind of dressed down but also you know have these certain points of you know something going on that's a little different has been what I've been latching on to lately versus um, some of these songs with the more intrusive like background sounds um, 
what else have I been paying attention to? I really liked, uh, on that same note, Mark Twan uh, from GOT7, um, his song, My Life. I really liked that one. I really did. It gave me like early thousands, kind of took me back to like the indie emo singer songwriter. Um, these aren't like perfect comparisons, but it gave me that same feeling I had when I was listening to like Hello Goodbye and stuff like that. It's the same feeling I had when I was listening to Mark Twan. Genres are totally like different, but it had that light but also like it it just sounds like somebody who really loves what they're doing like I don't it's like I don't know how to put that into better wording or anything there's just a certain vibe that those kinds of songs have and you know that one's a sad um, version of it but that like early thousands alternative indie feeling that was widespread. I got, you had to be there. I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> um, I also really love Pentagon's comeback. I really liked JB's song. I've just been kind of reconnecting with a lot of artists and reviewing things. Um, I'm looking forward to see what Mark comes out with in February and the rest of like the NCT projects and NCT Hollywood that's coming up. I saw the Epic High drop tour tickets and things. Juan Ho's having a comeback. There's just so many things to get back on track with. Like I said, the BTS webtoons and stuff. There's just so much content, so little time, and I haven't even done a multi-chat in a long time, so there's just a lot that's going on and my lunch is about to end you probably heard the phone about to go off so yeah that's all I had I just wanted to sit down and kind of spend my lunch chit-chatting about some k-pop and things that are going on and it's been a long time so let me know what is on your mind what you think I should be watching or paying attention to once I get the time to do so uh, any dramas that you're watching that you're loving, any new artists that, you know, you want to talk about, uh, drop it down in the comments below. Let's have a conversation. I know we haven't had a multi-chat in so, so long, and, you know, I miss the community of that. So let's go ahead and bring that back. I'm thinking of also expanding this into, like, a more podcast style for the multi-chats. So, uh... Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, maybe it could be something where I just have a secondary channel that is the multi-chat channel where we do stuff like this, but it doesn't always have to have like the pressure of me being on camera and like having some kind of setting or whatever. Sometimes it might just be a more of a podcast thing and maybe we do like a Q&A or review segment on camera. I don't know. Let me know what you think, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.